is our celebrity for today, worldwide famous fashion designer. His latest jackets are popular and worn by the international sports stars. 50 NBA best players, worldwide show business celebrities like Madonna, Rolling Stone, Snoop Dogg, and even by the president, a cult personality, Jeff Hamilton. Hey Jeff, how are you doing? I'm good, and you? Great, thank you so much that you agreed to become a celebrity guest of Stars About Stars project. My pleasure. So happy to be here next to you. Likewise. Jeff, I never ask my guests, but today we have a very special hard to talk discussion and it's going to be dedicated only to you because all my questioning is based on astrological research of your personal data and of course your personal chat. So I hope, first of all, it's going to be interesting for you. It is. My first simple question is, what is your attitude to astrology? Because I know that you're a fantastic spiritual human being. I believe that astrology is, 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 is extremely important. The universe is based on astrology. All our religions are based on astrology. And I believe that it is the traits and the DNA that the way we live our life is is by the, the way we are born, in the position that we're born, and we have a certain influence from the planets to know our, our characteristic of any human being is, is done. Through your numerology, your main number is 17, that corresponds to the energy of star. Tell me please, in your childhood, did you dream to become a celebrity? You know, I always wanted to be, possibly, but I never, never looked for it, you know, and, and you know, by the way, my, my favorite number always has been 17. For some reason, the last couple of years, my business has taken off in, in a different way, especially in, in, in the world of, of social media, and, uh, and it's kind of very, it's a different feeling just to walk around in New York City or, or Miami and people recognize you and come to you and ask you for pictures. So your second number is eight. That is August because you are Leo. Tell me, please. Number eight, it's always power and it's always about money, as Chinese people say. What is your biggest power? What you feel inside? It can maybe two or three different words, but it's all the same. It's uh, discipline, hard work, and anti procrastination. Do everything you need to do now, not don't expect it something is going to happen. Don't count on anybody, just do maximize your potential at any point of time. Your year of birth corresponds to the energy of spreading, going out of borders. How did you come to the idea to move to the United States? Because you always loved American culture. I did, since I'm a kid. I was born in Africa, in North Africa, in Morocco. And, and I lived and then lived in France. Uh, I grew up in France and I did my study, but I always hadn't wanted to live the American dream. I love everything that was American. In fact, even my name was not Jeff. I changed it to Jeff because I mean, I, I wanted to sound American. I want to look American and, and always had that dream. And, uh, and I was lucky enough to, when I was 24 years old, just to, to take the plunge and come to America. I just came to America. I was, believe it or not, I mean, I was already married. I had two kids. I married when I was 19 and uh, came with $6,000 to the States. I had no green card. I came completely illegally and no background in fashion or anything like that. I was a math guy, you know, I just did math and physics. I had no, no idea that I had a, some kind of gift in, into the fashion or, or the arts. But mathematics and physics, they were favorite subjects in school. And what did you study in university in Paris? I, I did not, stu I, I studied university the first couple of years and then I, I quit. I just, uh, I want to become a, a, a accounting. That's what I wanted to become. I do believe because I, wh when I see what you reach here in Los Angeles and how your business is growing, oh my God, I do believe that you're so good in numbers. Your karma task is Sagittarius. What does it mean to be guru, to be a guide and to, to People love to follow you and you should have a concrete aim in your life. Very optimistic and very impressive. What was your dream when you were a kid? I just really wanted 
like I said, you know, I'm, I'm, I don't want to repeat myself, but basically I want to be the best me that I can be. I dreamed of basketball, I dreamed of uh, Karim Abdul-Jabbar and Will Chamberlain. And, and for me, just to be able to fast forward a few years later and, and becoming friends with Michael Jordan and LeBron James and Kobe Bryant. Thank you. Your son joining Mars and it gives you very big, powerful aspect of willpower and growing your personality and a lot of courage. Tell me what you think was the most remarkable life-changing moment in your life. What was the most powerful step that you did? Impactful step that I did was to, to leave the comfort of being in France and, and having my family with me and uh, and just to come to America in a total country that had didn't know anybody here, that barely even spoke the language, um, that didn't have no papers, and didn't know that if I was going to be able to work or, or fail. And everybody was wishing that I would fail to come back to uh, to France, you know, especially the family. Everybody wanted me to fail. They want they want me to take my my kids and and you know. Thank you so much. You are exactly an example of a person who never gives up because lots of people after COVID, they are so much depressed. They are so much down that they really need this energy of belief to come back to them. The line says, you know, when, when, you, when you fall and actually I posted something on my Instagram today, which was basically when, I, when you fall and you don't get up, you die, you know. So the, the strength is, it's okay to fall. We all have to fall, but you have to find a way to to always get up. Michael Jordan, when he, made, when he played basketball, he, he didn't make 100% of his shots. And if he made 100% of his shots, we wouldn't care about it. The fact that he missed some shots, when he made a shot, we appreciated the, the shots that he made. Your son joining Venice that uh, gives big artistic talent. Tell me please, how your love story with leather started here in the United States? Uh, I really don't know how the, the love story, my story with leather started because growing up, I guess, in France and being very modest, I always looked up to wanting a leather jacket and things like that. So when I came to America as a student for the first time, I remember coming to America in 1974. I came with $100 for the whole month. And I remember walking into UCLA and uh, they had a jacket there with leather sleeve. And I don't, I, today I don't even believe they were, it was real leather for some reason. And it was a UCLA jacket. And the jacket was $60 at the time. And I went and bought the jacket. And I felt so amazing having that jacket for me. And, and that's just, that I think probably what opened the whole doors for me to this wanting to design jackets. And uh, so when I came in, to America in 1980 and 1983, I started my first company, Guest Jeans. I was a founder of Guests for Men, uh, or the first licensee that started the Guest Jeans for Men. As I started designing, even though I had no idea of how to design any, any clothing, I just went to my closet and I said, well, I like this, I like that. I didn't even know what a pattern was, you know. And I just started putting things together and start getting designs together uh, and I didn't have a designer so I really kind of like winged it and I'd say well I think I have good taste when I finished guests I was 27 28 years old very successful you know living the life you know and riding cars and motorcycles and and I decided to make I couldn't find clothing that that I wanted so I started creating my own leather jackets for myself and everybody started going crazy and the celebrities started approaching me, wanting me to do it. And I didn't even know how to produce those jackets. They were so complex. George Michael picked up my jacket in his videos and then Madonna, then Michael Jackson, then Michael Jordan, and, and so on and so forth. And, and we started getting involved with jackets in, in the sports and entertainment uh, industries. Jeff, you produce so many jackets. Tell me, please, do you have your favorite one? I, I do. I mean, there's a lot of jackets I've made that have special feelings for me, but one of them, probably the, the Michael Jordan one, because for me it was the most, you know, it's still probably one of the most iconic. Jeff, your son joining Pluto that gives very big power to lead, to guide people, 
and they love to follow you. Please tell me, have you ever had any time some scandal order? For example, tomorrow you have to make an order and something happened. Which has always happened. I mean, uh, always. <laughs> it always happened. I mean, myself, I'm, there is no, I, I don't take rejection very well. Um, I'm a, for lack of a better word, I'm a hustler. You know, and it's, and it's kind of like there's a negative connotation to hustler, but I don't. I mean, I look at it more go-getter. I mean, I want, if things need to get done, it's going to need to get done no matter what. Thank you. Your feminine part, that is Venus, and your Mars, that is completely masculine, they go together. They're in conjunction. Tell me, please, what is your passion except creating jackets? Just being an artist, just being creating, really being a, my real passion is, is just to be creative, uh, whether it's, it's, you know, sometimes I spend my time just searching for design for furniture, for watches, for, you know, not net, for colors, for, for, for sceneries, things that are beautiful in life, you know, I, lo I love beauty in life. Thank you so much. So now we go to more interesting part that is all about regressions. Let's see how astrology helps us, how biography and astrological research correspond to each other. Seven years old, your moon joining Saturn that tells us about very disciplined and strict childhood. Or maybe you had to be on distance with your parents. Does it relate? Does it correspond to truth? Oh, I had a very disciplined, a very beautiful childhood, but a very disciplined, you know, I mean, listen, coming from, from my heritage, being seven years old, I was in Morocco, and, you know, coming from a Jewish family, we are very disciplined, and, and always my parents are very honorable people, or my father, they, both of them are, and, uh, and I had a beautiful childhood, and, uh, but we are very strict in in our religion, in, in our ways of doing things. But what is profession of your parents? From whom did you get, as you think, your talent? Oh, they, they, they were both accountants, so... Wow. <laughs> uh, so they were both uh, accountants, they were all with numbers. Good. <laughs> Actually, my parents as well, I understand you very well. Anyway, astrology says that around 7-8 you have some kinds of year of transformation, because it's all about Pluto, that is powerful planet. Tell me, please, what happened by the time, if you remember? I don't remember anything specific at seven or eight years old. Ten years old, maybe, but at seven, eight years old, I didn't have anything uh, drastic to my life. Ten years old, I have this question as well, by the way, because some kind, I don't want, I don't love to say difficulties, but some kind of challenges and uh, you already were on the way, as astrology says, to a material and spiritual success. Is it true? Were you like that from your childhood? At 10 years old, yeah, because at 10 years old it was, uh, it was kind of a traumatic uh, kind of time in, in everybody uh, in that era because, you know, like I said, I'm Jewish, you know, we had a beautiful life in Morocco and the Moroccan people were so fantastic, even the Muslim people were so loving to the Jewish communities. However, there was a six-day war in the Middle East and uh, there was a lot of turmoil then and, and, uh, and all the families start moving out of, of Morocco even though we were there for 500 years or close to 500 years. You know, so uh, since 1492 we were in Morocco. So in 1967 we, we had to, to move out. Great. By the age of 14, difficult emotional experience, maybe connected with love. What was your first love and what happened by that time? I didn't do very well when I was a kid with, with, in, in with my women, with opposite? With women, <laughs> uh, I, I, no, I was not. I mean, I was very desired. <laughs> I won't tell what it desired, but I was pretty much a nerd, you know, and growing up I was a nerd. I loved to work hard and I just, didn't have no game, <laughs> for lack of a better word, you know. I had no, no swag or nothing, so. So you created profession when you don't have to go to women. All women from all over the world, they want to come to you. <laughs> well, 
<laughs> I'm going to say that, but you know, <laughs> I've been popular. <laughs> From 13 to 16, you have power of Neptune that gives a lot of spiritual oh, love I'm and sorry. power of Neptune that give like inspiration. Tell me, please, you mentioned guitar. What was your hobby by, uh, in childhood? In was guitar and basketball. I used to play basketball, love sports, uh, and 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 music. I, I was basically a, a very um, I'm not gonna say lonely. I was I was a loner. I mean, I was okay to be. I didn't have that many friends. I just uh, I, I was just basically uh, by myself. I love to play by myself. But if you had an opportunity to change profession. What would be your second profession? Maybe Sorry. basketball player? You're super tall. <laughs> I'm not going to say I'm super tall. I'm probably very short for a basketball player. Uh, no, I mean, listen, if I had the skills, definitely I would have loved to do that. I mean, I would love to, I would have loved to be a musician. How, many, how high can you be just being like a, a rock and roll and being on stage and, and pleasing people? I mean, I, I, you know, as an egomaniac, you know, being a Leo in nine planets, I think it's just natural you want to be always on stage you, you're always on stage you, you 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 know you emulate the sun that's our planet you know Leo is run by, by the sun so you want to be the sun you know so you want to give 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 true age 22 moon square Pluto change of place of living or maybe some kind of disagreements in family does it relate very much so, because I, at 19 I got married, you know, I got a son at 20, 21, uh, and then at 22 I decided that I'm moving to America. 22? Which I moved in 24. I was 24 wow. when I moved in America, to America, but I was uh, definitely was, but my decision was made when I was 21, 22, yeah, that I, it didn't matter, I, I, I didn't care what people thought about, I was going to find a way just to come to to America, whether I came as, as a tourist and never leave again. And that's, you did a great job. <laughs> I think America is very happy now. <laughs> 25. Moon sextile Mars. That gives participation in profitable affairs. Tell me please, what was your first money in the United States? And what happened by 25? Uh, I, I just really start to go to, to, to repeat myself, I start basically hustling and then just going in the streets and, and buying from one store and getting to the other store and, and doing things. And I started making money when I was 25. America. <laughs> so, 26 moons join in uranium that gives very original fantasy. What was your first, first, first client for jackets in the United States? I made a lot of jackets when I was doing guests also. So a lot of people bought some gas jackets, like Madonna, you know, in her first video, my jackets were in the video, uh, you know, whether it was George Michael or, you know, a lot of basketball players, but I really don't have any Magic Johnson, you know, but I don't have one particular guy that I remember that says... Uh, 28 years old, aspect of collaboration with another company or maybe a other group of people after guest experience did you do collaboration with somebody else no guess was i started guess probably in the, when i was 26 27 years old all the way till i was 29 30 years old yeah so that was my collaboration with them yeah and what happened by 28 years old there was some kinds of collaboration or maybe big placed order for group of people or something well, that like was that was huge i mean i, I built a company from twenty thousand dollars in you know, when I was 27 years old to 20, and when I was 29, to build a $75 million business. So maybe that and is I exactly the same like aspect. Barely speaking English still. <laughs> 33 years old. Your van is in Libra. It means material relationship or financial advantages from art and from areas that are related to that. How did your cooperation with Michael Jordan start? And uh, what was by that time? In, in, in 19? Uh, 33 years old. Very important age for yeah. lots of people. Uh, I, I was interested, during that time, that's when I met. I met Michael Jordan maybe a couple of years before that, but I met them through, uh, through other basketball players that start coming in and they, they introduced me to Michael Jordan. And it was very successful, just not, 
not financial success. It's not like it's for me. Success is not about, like I said, about money. It was just accomplishments and knowing that you are part of the move, the culture, and you're part of the history. Whether it's him or Muhammad Ali or Mike Tyson or any name it and any any other. And I never even realized that myself till, till I start getting heavy on Instagram and I start realizing I'm posting. Like yesterday I posted a picture, it was just two days ago, it was a picture, it was the anniversary of Michael Jordan winning his first championship. Jeff, tell me please, do you have at least one celebrity you want to dress up? You look at him on her and yeah, I want her to give my jacket. I don't know, maybe the Pope, maybe? <laughs> <laughs> This is the best answer I have ever heard in my life. <laughs> <laughs> Great. 38. Sun in Libra. Again, cooperation, concentration on partnership. I don't know, love of business. What happened by that time? Uh, yeah, there was, uh, there was, uh, there was, a, there was a, a impactful moment in my life. I had started another company and basically the company tried to steal, they tried to steal the company for me. So. I basically decided to, I left, I, you know, sued them, won the lawsuit, but in the meantime I went out right away and started a new company and just the company just took off like overnight also, making the jackets, but by myself without a partner. So astrology works, <laughs> it does. Oh, I, I, I'm a true believer in it, I mean, I, you're not going to convince me, or yeah. I, I will try to convince you even more that astrology, <laughs> astrology is the only way to do it, as, 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 as I, I might have told you in the past. I have a, a guru that I, I consult in, in India, which is a business astrologer, and I speak to him once a week. And I, pretty much all my business decisions are, are ruled based on astrology. You know, I, I'm so happy with that. And we don't have to say yes or no to nothing. We just see and how it really works. My God, it's major in your biography because you're full of events in your life. You're full of meetings, full of people. Okay, so we continue. 3941, your Mercury, that is planet of trade and communication, joining Neptune. That gives, of course, as always, uh, vivid imagination, but you have influence of uranium. That gives up gives a lot of like unexpected opportunities what happened by that time age 39 41 just the growth of the company at the time there was a new company that was basically rebuilding from scratch and just taking off in a big way and uh, i mean i've had a lot of ups and downs in my life but this was one of the very uh it was a moment where i really re reinvented myself in a way that People realize who I really was, and and those like those were the years where I got very close with Michael Jordan and and my jackets were from from 39 to 41 where I was I created the whole concept of creating the jackets and the people start using kind of my designs and my quote unquote talent, but with my marketing ability to try to portray that. It's, you can make the most beautiful design, but if people don't see it, it doesn't mean anything. So I was able to be able, because of my relationship with Michael Jordan and with the NBA, for him to put it on his back when he would win a championship and therefore being able to show it to the world and people know that. But do you need for your activity any kind of like license or something like Absolutely, this? Absolutely, yeah. No, what is this industry? What is the biggest secret, the biggest challenge of this no industry? There's secret in the industry. I mean, I would, you do... You do design, but especially if you work with certain branding and certain marks and certain things, you get the authorization. You know, if I'm going to make a, a jacket with your image and, and, and you, know, you have a, a market for that, I mean, I'm just going to come and give you permission, get your permission. And by getting your permission, I'm going to have to pay you in order to get it done. If I want to do something with the Los Angeles Lakers, I mean, that's their mark. They own it. And uh, how did your collaboration exactly with Showbiz started? Uh, it, it, it was a very, it's, it's an organic collaboration. It's not, uh, we have a written way of doing it, you know. We create designs, I mean, obviously, because showbiz is, is very uh, flamboyant and very colorful, and obviously, I'm, me being a Leo, all, all my designs are very flashy and very colorful, 
and uh, there was a natural uh, evolution that happened and, and uh, with also the history under my belt and knowing that I've been designing for so many years and having so many I've been able to work with so many people in my life and uh, people are kind of like realizing my body of work and and again with the, the birth of, of Instagram and social media it has been able I've been able to put a face my face on, on my product that people could, could, could associate with. Have you ever been thinking about creating jackets for kids? I have. You have? Oh, I have a lot. Celebrity done, kids or just... I have the celebrity kids, but I have done a lot of jacket commercial jackets for a lot of different people, yeah, for different uh, brands and different things, yeah. But most, most of the jackets I've done are mostly men and women, adult, because Unfortunately, my jackets are, are, are very expensive, so it's kind of like yeah. some people don't <laughs> want to spend so much money for kids and they're going to outgrow them. <laughs> Definitely. Or they have to make another one. And <laughs> 45, your Mercury in retro, in opposite direction. <laughs> you know what does it mean? So number of contracts or agreements could decrease. Tell me, what happened by the age? Does it relate? 45. Was it some kind of life-changing moment for your business? It was a negative time of my life, very negative wasn't time easy. of my life. It was, was correct, you know, because my business was, I was so successful in 2000, you know, like in, like in when, 1940, when, I'm, 1945, when I was 45 years old. It was very highly, probably the height of my success, much bigger than gas and much bigger than that. And, uh, you know, unfortunately, because I'm not going very open book and I'm very transparent about everything, everybody start taking advantage. And a lot of people try to just jump on the bandwagon. And, and, and it, it was a very challenging time of my life, which, uh, and I lost a lot of money by that time and I lost a lot of probably the most emotional, difficult times in my life from 2000 till 2007, probably. You mentioned a word book. That was my question. So I'm going to ask you if you wanted to publish a book about all your life experience, what's going to be the name? I have the name, actually. Tell you know, me. Because I've been, I've, been, I've been offered to do a book a couple of years ago and I turned it down. And I was offered to do a Netflix series also and I turned it down because I was not in the right place two years ago. Last year, like I told you with COVID and everything, everything just went, exploded. My whole professional life, not only the financial part of it, but my business and my comfort in being able to maximize my quote-unquote talent, exploring my ability to design has been maximized. Uh, and I didn't want to do the deal before because I just didn't want to have a a bad ending to my life story, you know, and, and, I, and I'm not saying that anybody would care about a book of Jeff Hamilton or a TV series of Jeff Hamilton. I find it interesting for me. I don't know that anybody else would, you know, you know, just, I don't know if you know that, that, uh, that uh, musician, uh, rapper, uh, Jim Jones, he wrote a song about me about a year ago called Jeff Hamilton. And, and the word of the song is, yes, I'm a man again. So the idea is, the comeback, you know, just, yes, I'm the man again. So that would be probably the title of the book or, or, or the TV series. 2001, 2002. Experiments with new lifestyles and appearance. What was for you, it's, for me, it's like 46, 47, I think, uh, by the age. And just in life in general, what was your biggest experiment with your personal appearance? Long hair, short hair? No, I always said, no, I was, I, was, I was doing really well financially and I was very comfortable and uh, I was very much in love with my wife at the time and uh, my second wife and I, we were not married then, but we just had moved together. We had a, just bought a beautiful home together and uh, it was a great time in my life, even though I was going through very nasty divorce with my first wife, which lasted uh, 19 years uh, and cost me millions of dollars in legal fees. Uh, and I won the case, by the way. Uh, but it was a very good time because I was traveling all over Europe, 
felt very comfortable and just, you know. And um, what is important for you in your partner, in your woman? She supports you, she believes in you. What is your ideal woman? Um, yeah, of course, you know, you want a woman that supports you, that, that loves you and that respects you. That, but on the other hand, that she's her own person. I don't want her to be my puppet. I want her person. I want her to be herself. Great. We have another life-changing moment by the end of 49 that's connected with Moon. That is something about women. What happened by that time, 49? What happened in, at 49? Uh, actually, I stopped working in, during that time. I was not working anymore. I was uh, in a very bad place mentally. I was uh, going through a lot of depression uh, and I didn't work. I was basically retired. Because I have an aspect of memories. So like, because Moon, it's all about unconscious world and thinking too much. So maybe it was exactly when you started to understand what, what is period for, what is this time for. Okay, 52, Sun, Square, Moon, and another aspect, Venus joining Saturn. Tell me, please, there was any of break up of professional relationship by that time or friendship relationship? Oh yeah, sure. There was a lot of uh, friendship relationship uh, breaking, you know, because I was really still going through my difficult uh, time uh, of not working and not wanting to work, not wanting to create, even though I wanted to create, but not I didn't have a company. I was kind of retired. Uh, 2006 and 2007 growth of professional ambitions so i think you got already into the mode again what happened by that time in 2007 i started breathing a little bit because i finally finalized my divorce with my first wife uh, but i was really emotionally very scarred uh, and financially very scarred i really lost a lot of money by not working and being very depressed that i had but I really didn't want to design anymore. I was just kind of burned out of, not burned out, but I was just didn't have the confidence in myself anymore. Didn't find, I didn't know who I was anymore. I didn't like myself and I didn't feel who I was. But if you had an opportunity to change just one feature of character in yourself, what it would be? Just, uh, just to be who I am today, just to try to be completely disciplined because maybe 2007, 2008, I was not disciplined. I was basically had given up in a way that I was very unhappy, you know, uh, from a personal standpoint, even though I had a beautiful marriage with my wife, uh, my, my second wife, uh, you know, I had no relationship. I've, I've not had a relationship with my kids for 20 plus years. Do you have now any kind of dream you wish to realize in your life? The fear of being in my deathbed and saying, I should have done this and I should have done that, you know. I basically maximizing, I repeat myself sometimes, but maximizing my potential. If there's something I want to do, let's just, let me do it. I, as long as it's done in the right way. I don't want to be, I just want to do the things I want to do. At this stage, it's not about money, it's not about having a private jet and having another Rolls Royce or having another, it doesn't matter, or another watch, it, it doesn't matter to me anymore, those things. I've had it all. Thank you so much. 2007, eight and nine. Uh, money affairs again and love affairs again. What happened by that time? Yeah, everything everything was, was okay, 2008. And actually, I got married in 2008, finally, after being with my my wife or, or my, my, my girlfriend or my fiance for 20 a great years, year. 20 <laughs> plus years, whatever. So, uh, so it was a great year. It was, was fine. And financially, even though I didn't still didn't work, I, I made a couple of deals where I was able to, to be comfortable again. And Thank you so much. Uh, 54, 55, Venice journey, Neptune again. Love, 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 uh, creativity. <laughs> That's all your life. Uh, how did you become fascinated by street art? At that point, you know, I really start, you know, I really just, like I said, didn't care. I mean, I love fashion and everything, but I was, there was, the problem is not that I didn't love fashion, I didn't love creating. 
I hated the people in the world that was in that world because they were all stealing from me. They were all, all copying me. Everybody was unfaithful to me. You used to live in Paris, so you know what is this culture of houses of mold. If you had an opportunity to give as a gift your jacket to any person, Lagerfeld, Chanel, Yves Saint Laurent, whatever, whom do you choose? If I had to give a present to one of the designers, whether it's Lagerfeld or Giorgio Armani, or, uh, I think I give a gift. I'll give a gift to Ralph Lauren. For me, he's my favorite designer. I love him so much. He's just, uh, as an American designer, I think he's just, he's the godfather of all the, all the designers there are. You know, for me, he's the greatest. Jeff, and my final question to you, because after COVID, we all have our new setup in mind, new goals, new aims, new destination. Which plan do you want to accomplish in 2021-2022? Uh, I just really want to continue doing what I'm doing and just extending it and, and uh, being able to be more, more visible in the things that I do. I mean, I feel like even though I'm running a business, I'm, it's, it's my way also of giving back where people are, I mean, they're paying me for it, but you know, people are buying my jacket and they really are, it seems that people are loving, they're appreciating it. And just for me to get that love by them buying my product and appreciating, and me would be able to expand my creativity by working with them is something that's very, uh, very rewarding and I'm just, hopefully to continue doing what I'm doing. Thank you so much. Uh, me personally and Stars About Stars proge Project, we all appreciate your energy, your light, your time. Thank you so much. And if I could ask for myself, I'm super happy to give you my astrology reading. And I found nice mineral for you that is rubin, that is fire, that completely correspond to your nature. And if you could give us closing inspirational words for our followers. There is four elements, you know, and, and the four elements are just work, working hard. I mean, it's, it's so corny, it's so dumb, but it's, you, you, nothing comes easy. You know, everybody wants a miracle. It's not going to happen if you don't go. Those who reach such a stars to be in the astrological world, the stars are not going to come to you. You're going to have to go to them. And, but you have to reach out to them. You have to work smart. That's the second point. And number three point is, is you have to find within yourself your talent. Everybody has a talent. Everybody has. The, the bum in the street that, that, that is sleeping under the bridge has a talent. And if you put those three elements together and with or without luck, you're always going to be okay. You know, you're, I'm not saying you're going to be again flying private jet, but, but private jet is nothing. It's just how you can find happiness in everything that you do and maximize again your potential thank you so much Thanks, thank you. you jeff i really appreciate your time thank you so much